And new at five, Colorado students may not have to take new national standardized tests next year. 7 News reporter Lindsay Sablon live at the Capitol. Lindsay, lawmakers are debating whether to put those tests on hold. And the tests are known as PARC, and they're funded by a $186 million grant from the Department of Education. But some educators here think the tests may be implemented too soon into the schools, and that is why they're asking lawmakers to now step in. It used to be when the bell rang, you opened your books and started learning. But Colorado educators worry your child's school day has changed for the worse. So much of the classroom instructional time is being robbed. That's why Senator Vicki Marble is sponsoring Bill 136. We are changing our definition of education to be assessment. The bill would delay a new standardized test one year and create a task force to evaluate a new set of education standards. The test is known as PARC, or Partnership for Assessment of Readiness for College and Careers. It tests grades K through 12 and claims to better prepare children and provide teachers with quicker results. There's a huge concern that pushing this through faster is going to make it a lot more difficult for schools to respond. Stephanie Pico is a parent and works in IT for Cherry Creek Schools. If there's any network issues, if there's any Wi-Fi issues, if there's too many children on the network at one time, it can cause a, a system problem. Her elementary school bought 125 computers dedicated to park testing. Even with the addition, that means possibly four weeks of testing at one school. Time that could be spent teaching. And back live, there is a public hearing on this bill tomorrow at 1.30. It's going to be held in the old Supreme Court chambers. Right now, there are 17 states who have withdrawn from this new set of standards, saying they're not as vigorous as the previous standards. Live at the Capitol, Lindsay Sablon, 7 News.